Hello and welcome to module three of Drum Ambition. In this module, I'm going to show you how to develop your eighth and sixteenth note drum beats. If you remember, in module one, we talked a lot about basic eighth note and sixteenth note grooves. And they really did need to be basic, seeing as it was the first time that you were attempting to play them. And in this module, we're going to start building upon what you've already learned to make some really, really cool musical ideas. I'd also like to take you back to module two just for a moment. Think about what you learned in that. We talked a lot about drum fills and specifically orchestrating new groupings of drum fills. We did a lot of work around 16th note groupings. And we're going to take those 16th note groupings that you learned and we're going to apply them to the bass drum while playing 8th and 16th note beats. It's really cool. You're going to have a lot of fun with this. Now, if there's one video that I suggest you watch before you start this series, it's go back to module one and watch video 17. And here's why. In that video, we added the 16th note ah to the bass drum while playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. And that presented you with quite a unique challenge where you're playing the hi-hat on certain notes and the bass drum was coordinating between those hi-hat notes. And in that video, I break it down really, really slowly. And in these modules, we move just a little bit quicker. Um, that way I can give you more content. So it's a good idea to go back to module one, lesson 17, and just reacquaint yourself with that before trying these exercises. Now, something different for this module, I am going to add a little training exercise at the beginning of each lesson so that you can feel really comfortable with what we're about to learn. Now, the training exercise is going to be this. Very, very slow, um, eighth notes on the hi-hat, and then we're going to add whichever bass drum we're adding for the, for the lesson that we're playing. In this lesson, lesson one, we're adding the E. So if I play very slow eighth notes, one and, two and, three and, four and, and I add the E on every bass note, it will sound like this. One E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. So that's your practice exercise for this lesson. You can go as slow as you like, one E and. It's just really important to be able to get that coordination nice and comfortable before you try the beat. Now, as you can see, we have an eighth note groove here. The bass is on the one, the E of the two, the three and the and of the three. So the E of the two is the note that you really wanna pay attention to here. I'm going to play two bars of this nice and slowly. One, and, two, E, and, three, and, four, and. One, and, two, E, and, three, and, four, and. So this would be a good moment to pause and just practice that um, nice and slow. Just keep going over and over till you feel comfortable adding that E, make sure it's not throwing you off the rest of the groove. And then my intention in these lessons is to go straight in just like we did in the last module at 70 beats per minute so that you can hear what these grooves will sound like eventually after you've practiced them at slow speed. So I'm going to play four bars of time now at 70 beats per minute. Three, Four, one, two, e and three and four and one, two, e and three and four and one. Good. Now, I wouldn't be expecting you to play along to that while you're watching this video. It's way more important to go back to that introduction exercise I showed you and just play it very, very, very slowly. Print off the PDFs that come with these exercises. Make sure you're reading the notes as well. That will help you. But again, the message is very, very, very slow to start with. If we go on to number two, you'll see that the E on the bass drum is now on the E of the four. So the bass is on the one the three, the and of the three, and now the E of the four. So if I play two bars for you nice and slowly with no metronome, it's going to sound like this. One and two and three and four E and one and two and three and four E and. 
with our metronome at 70 beats per minute, four bars, two, three, four, one, three and forty and one, two and three and forty and one. On number three, as you can see on each exercise, we're shifting the positioning of the E, and on number three, we're playing it on the E of the three. So the bass drum is on the one, the E of the three, and the and of the four. So two bars, nice and slowly. One, and, two, and, three. E, and, four, and. One, and, two, and, three. E, and, four, and. Four bars of time. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Number four, again we have the bass drum on the E of the four this time, but what's interesting is there's no bass note on the one. The first bass note is on the and of the one, so that's always interesting. You did see this very, very briefly in module one, but for the most part, when we're playing the one as drummers, mo I want to say nine out of 10 times, we're playing the bass drum on that one as well. But we're not here, and that can, co that can really create some coordination problems, some really, really slowly on this one. The bass is on the and of the one, the three, the and of the three, and the E of the four. So nice and slowly. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, E, and. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, E, and. Four bars of time with our metronome. Two, three, four. One, and, two, and, three, and forty and one and two and three and forty and and then our final example we're going to throw two E's here the E of the one is played so this is brand new we're not playing the bass drum on the one it's not even on the and of the one it's on the E of the one one E and just as we practiced at the beginning so it's on the E of the one and the E of the four. So all together the bass is on the E of the one, the three, the and of the three, and the E of the four. Two bars, nice and slow. One E and, two and, three and, four E and. One E and, two and, three and, four E and. And then four bars of time with our metronome. Two, three and four and one. Two and three and four e and one e and two and three and four e and. So five new beats there for you to practice. I know the pace of this is quite a bit faster than module one, but if you've worked through module one and you followed the instruction and built up the tempo of your beats over time, I think you're gonna feel quite comfortable with this. But if it still seems fast, remember, just ditch the metronome to start with. Take it very, very slow, count out loud. All those messages that we keep really going on about in, less, in, in module one, they all apply to these exercises as well. Take it very, very, very slow. Now, you also have an additional 10 audio files, all different beats, throwing in E's on every different line, so more musical options for you to explore there as well. And just like the last module, the audio files are always a little bit more challenging than the examples you get in the video, so spend a little bit of time on those before going on to the next video. And just like every module of Drum Ambition, we start with the foundation, and then slowly over the lessons, we add a new step so that you can get more comfortable. If you have uh, any need for me, I'm here, support at drumambition.com. Um, manage your expectations. These are pretty tricky grooves. They're going to push you, but when you start to feel comfortable, they're a lot of fun, very, very musical. Um, but as I say, if you do need help, reach out, have fun. Thanks for watching.